He stalks the New York City subways, waiting for his chance to strike. When the opportunity comes, he moves fast. He has to. Opportunity for Keith Herring is a blank advertising poster. Using a piece of chalk, the young man from Kutztown, Pennsylvania, draws a picture. A cartoon-like drawing, which he finishes in a minute or two, and then moves on. He may do as many as 30 such drawings in a day. All different, but all the same in certain ways. He puts them down here so that millions can see them, and millions do. It was made for lots of people. And you, you don't have to know anything about art to appreciate it or to look at it. There aren't any um, hidden secrets or, or um, things that you're supposed to understand. But he's got to be careful, because technically what he's doing is illegal graffiti. He could be arrested. Sometimes he is arrested. I'm going to arrest for graffiti in the subway. Herring doesn't think he is defacing anything. He believes it is art, and many subway riders seem to agree. But the law is the law. For Herring, the arrest is always short-lived, and it's worth the temporary humiliation for him because he wants ordinary people, subway riders, to see his stuff. Is it art? Well, upstairs, outdoors, there doesn't seem to be any question about it. He's done murals like this one on the Bowery. And you'll often find Herring working on paintings that look for all the world like those subway drawings. This big one, for all its size, only took him a couple of hours to do. Here, too, he works fast. I, mean, I think it's more important to make a lot of different things and keep coming up with new images and things that were never made before than to do one thing and do it, do it well. They come out fast, but, I mean, it's a fast world. And so fast has Keith Herring caught on in this fast world that now he has a one-man show at a gallery in Soho. Here are the same images, the cookie-cutter men, babies, hearts, dolphins, and spaceships. Only now, it is the art world looking on. They think it's art, all right. Beautiful. I can't get over it. In the South, I'm a Southern painter. Mom. Thank you. <laughs> Herring has become a hot property. They ooh and they ah. Downstairs is unbelievable. I want to buy a few of these little no. wooden things. And they pay plenty. $15,000 for that two-hour special we saw him working on. Within the first few days of the show, about a quarter of a million dollars worth of his pieces sold. Not bad for a 24-year-old kid from Kutztown. But even though he now gets fancy prices for a lot of his work, still, every chance he gets, it's back down into the subway system, looking furtively around to make sure the coast is clear, and then going to it. Art for the people. All for the price of a subway token. Charles Osgood, CBS News, New York.